so uh, the first thing is when you open google sheets or any google app there's this gemini button on the top right so it's a part of workspace labs um gemini in google sheets it's a part of workspace labs yeah so basically um this is something that you need to enroll for i think i had mentioned this quite early as well in one of our sessions earlier nonetheless i'll share the link again so basically there's this thing called as workspace labs where you have to enroll and they will give you access to all the beta features before anyone else so i think a lot of people still don't ha have access to gemini but they literally announced this like in uh, i think three three weeks back yeah when we had covered about this new feature that's when they launched it and now we've gotten access to this so uh, if anyone wants it just en enroll for workspace labs you can google that separately but uh, but yeah here's what they show is possible so this is your main link all right uh, but basically this is how it looks whenever you open a new sheet it's available on the top ask gemini okay now here's where it gets really interesting give me one minute yeah okay so yeah uh, this is something i discovered as recent as of today okay because it just came out last week uh, i did not experiment much with it in sheets but this is what i discovered okay i was creating a social media calendar for one of my clients and i literally just put in the spreadsheet name sometime back and i was like okay now i'll have to sit and i'll have to put the column names i'll have to uh, try i'll have to put all of the metrics uh, the dates and all of that thing right but everything was possible here if you see content tracker i mean i'm just scrolling i'm just scrolling my mouse i'm just pointing i've not clicked anything yet but this is available as a template um now content tracker is something that's available i'll just click on insert okay and there it is like can you imagine how much of uh, your time can be saved just through all of these readily available templates and that's not it it can do a lot more which i'll be showing you okay so yeah so basically uh that is one of the features available uh okay let's say this is this is a content calendar it's very nice it has content on the left where i can post let's say tweets for the entire week um and then i can i can simply change all of this in settings it's very easy details i can just simply delete if i don't need it uh owner it's great if you're working in a team and you have multiple people handling different things i like this status uh, in progress and stuff like that i mean you don't need all of those tools like buffer and those social media management tools it basically does the same thing that you're doing right now posting date file notes whatever it is okay so it, it gives a very nice view um and yeah you can make all the adjustments possible uh i'll show you what what else they have these ready made templates like for example product prioritization if you are in the product marketing team uh, recruitment applications if if you are an hr and if you want uh, all of this tracking to be very easy okay and then they have a lot of other things like event schedule okay uh, they have event guest list management vendor list budget let's see what this is yeah event budget okay so adding all the types of um, all the types of expenses that are possible budget cost paid by okay and then there are like 100 other options available if you see on the right side like you have travel planner you have trip budget like every everything is possible okay um but that's not it 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 just it's not simply templates okay it it basically serves like a nice starting path for you to get started with anything that you're doing on excel now there is this thing called as uh, help me create a table okay so um, for now i'll just take an example that they have given over here so create a table to track income and expenses for my business okay this is the example sample that they had that's what i'll go ahead with for now but what i mean to also say is you can just give it natural language and it will basically do the task for you so um so yeah let's see what this does and then we'll see more examples 
okay so you see it it also went and fetched this from a source let's see what that source is okay okay so maybe it had some ready made template i'm not sure okay anyway um yeah this is what it was able to give you uh, i mean it's been embedded on one on top of the other for now but just ignore that i'll just add this add it to new sheet here you have it uh, okay so any items what are the categories those items are following in Pre payment type income expense whatever it is okay so that it was able to do very well um let's see some more examples i'll just clear history I mean, I can also go ahead and expand on this. Okay, let's say I do. I want some additional columns, or I want some formula to be embedded within some of these columns. I can go ahead and just prompt it here and do that. But for now, I'll show you some other example. Okay, so um, there is one thing called as create table, which I just showed you. There is the second thing that's called as teach me how to. Um, so so for example, I'm sure that a lot of people. I mean, VLOOKUP is a very important thing in Excel that comes handy no matter what business or which area um, of career you are in. But uh, I mean, VLOOKUP is something that I'm sure we must have learned at some point in our life and forgotten. I have, I'm the one who has actually forgotten that. So uh, what I used to do earlier is I used to ask ChatGPT that I used to provide a screenshot of my Excel and say that. Uh, I want to put a VLOOKUP for this, this parameter, for this, this use case, okay? And it is to give me the entire formula, which I should just paste directly. But you can basically ask it to do anything else as well. So teach me how to use formula for lookups, okay? So basically any complicated thing earlier that was not possible is now just directly possible with this Gemini integration. And the best part is that you don't have to move across different apps like chat GPT and then copy paste and all of that. Yeah, so here you have it. It'll give you this VLOOKUP. Basically, if you also have a lot of data present, you can literally also say that I want to uh, put a VLOOKUP for dash dash thing. You can provide the column name, you can provide the entry name, and then it will also literally use that and give you the formula directly instead of search key instead of table underscore array okay so that all is possible right now okay so for now for this simple example um let let's just see some more yeah teach me how to make a pivot table i mean that's directly available but still um yeah, some more examples, create a table to track average time, customer service, all of that. Okay, so uh, yeah, very interesting thing. I mean, I have surely benefited it in the limited um, time I have used it, but it's super cool. And I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that you will experiment more with this and find out how this works for you. Okay, um, it has more suggestions and you can ask it anything directly just by prompting as well. Okay, um, I'll show you what is available with uh, Google Docs as well now, and then we'll move to the PowerPoint. Uh, sorry, to the slides. Okay, um, so yeah, Google Doc also has this new feature right now that it has integrated with Gemini and um, yeah, again, I think this does save up a lot of time in going back and forth from chat GPT and coming here or any other thing. So, uh, yeah, so what I can do is I'll take some example from here. Write a blog post about. Okay, so this is the sample prompt that it has given me, which I will show you for the example. Write a 200 word marketing blog post about an upcoming fall fashion event. Uh, so yeah, it has created this and given me 
I have the option of copying it. It has also some sources available. I mean, I think it randomly picks up sources which are not at all relevant uh, because it's still in the experimental phase. However, it does, um, it, sometimes it does, um, I mean, yeah, basically the text that it gives is good. I just tried this sometime back as well. So yeah, that's what it gave me. Like if I want to announce this um, Paul fashion, basically this is the type of post that I would write on LinkedIn, right? Now it has given me all of this. I'll just use this arrow button to insert it on my document. Okay, so basically it's a description about the fall fashion event. Um, again, you can you can add on prompts here, basically saying I want to add some more bullet points about what people can expect. I want to add some more event details. And then it'll expand on it and you can just add it and modify. Uh, okay, what you can also do is if, if this feels very confusing or if maybe the tone is not good, you can simply uh, change the tone over here. You can say tone, formal or casual. Okay, so I just, I'll just make it casual to see what it does. This was available in the earlier workspace as well. If you remember in the chat GPT course, and I think even previously we had touched upon this a little bit, but this feature of Gemini is completely new over here. Okay, here you go. So now the text is casual. Hey there, fashion enthusiasts, get ready, dash, dash, you're invited. Okay, so you see this is actually a better um, better announcement text as compared to this. So if I like it, I can simply replace the original text with this. Okay, Um. yeah, so so that's what it can do for you. It, it added some event details here because I asked it to. So earlier that was not there in the previous text. I mean, it was, but not sure what's new here so uh yeah it, it's still experimental however it it can help you to some extent okay um if you don't like it you can ask it to retry so it, it works like your side-by-side -side assistant when you're working with any of these google apps okay uh, now let's move on to let's move on to slides so um, what i like about slides is now if if you have been a part of this community since day one we have how many slides? Um, we have about 58 slides we've covered in the last two and a half months. Two months, I guess, yeah. So we've covered of Meta, Elama and all of that. And we've added some tools and all of that, okay? So uh, let's say now this is something that I've shared with you and you just want a glimpse or you just want key highlights of everything that's present in here. Okay, we had covered all of these uh, details about some very key stats about 2024 and AI. All right, so let's move on to this slide and I'll show you how Gemini works here. I'll clear history. Okay. Yeah, so again, as usual, there's this Gemini icon. I'll say summarize this. Okay, I'll just go to more suggestions and we'll see what's really available. Yeah, summarize this presentation and list key takeaways or list the main points in this presentation uh, or what are the key dates. Okay, so I mean, if you're doing a presentation for your company and let's say you have 100 slides, uh, basically, if you just want to sort of give a key uh, basically all of the key highlights of the presentation to someone in two minutes, you could do this. Okay, so let's say summarize this presentation and list key takeaways. It's a bit slow because Gemini usually is not that slow, uh, but because it's working with this app together, that's why it's taking some time. Okay. So here you go, uh, we have covered chat GPT's default language and we covered how to write it simply. So, okay, let me just take a new slide and insert it over there. 
All right, just clearing this up. Okay, so basically this is the end summary of the 54 slides we have in this presentation. Uh, we have covered how to write in simple language in our earliest days, in our earliest community sessions. Uh, we have covered DALI image editing. We've covered Meta's Lama 3, Adobe Firefly. Uh, if you remember short Google shortcuts with Gemini. Okay. Uh, we have covered frameworks for prompting and so on and so forth. Basically, it gives like a nice gist of the top things that have been covered over here. Again, because this presentation was, uh, the flow was not proper because it was a weekly sort of presentation. However, uh, if you have like a proper flow in your presentations, I think I'm sure you'll get a better su a summary of that. Okay, I'll just remove this for now. Create a slide about AI powered writing tools. Okay, it can also create slides for you based on the information available in the previous slides. So let's see what it does. Okay, this is, I mean, this is super generic. However, um, I just like the last part here, okay? Some popular AI power tools include Jasper, Grammarly, and Writer because Jasper is something that really works well for AI. Um, but I think this is like a nice framework or a nice base that I have. Now I can sit and just edit the points from here, right? Um, but basically, I think this is good for people in corporates and who want to create a presentation. If you prompt better, it will definitely give you a better output. For now, we're just using the ready-made prompts that are available. Okay, so now I can either insert or I can retry. I'll just insert it for now, okay? Control. Okay, for over here, let's try out something new. Okay, so I did show more suggestions and it basically took what's available in all slides and it created its own questions that are possible for the upcoming slides. So create a slide on AI tools for content creation. We can do that. How can we use AI to improve simplicity and writing? We've already covered that. What are the latest updates and features in AI models like Llama and Adobe Firefly, Photoshop and all of that? Let's just try this and see what it does, okay? So basically, if you also have a question from any slide in the presentation, you can ask it here and you can figure out where it's placed so that you don't have to spend a lot of time scrolling and seeing that, okay, this was the slide where I wrote about Microsoft. This was the slide where I um, where I wrote about the math, uh, where I showed the math demo, stuff like that. Okay, so yeah, you see it, uh, it gave me a nice three bullet point answer. I'll just insert it here so that you can read it in a better way. Yeah. So Meta Lama 3 uh, is a way, is capable of that. We've already written all of this and it's just giving like an answer to my question that I had asked. All right. So yeah, this was, uh, this was one of the key features about Gemini. Okay, what all is possible? Um, yeah, basically, if, if you're again in a corporate setting and you want to create slides to congratulate your team on a successful quarter and stuff like that, you can create it. Basically, the opportunities are endless. You can now create slides very easily with Gemini directly integrated within your slides. So it does save up a lot of time as compared to all the options available earlier. I remember a lot of questions along the sides of uh, any tool available to create slides. Now you simply have to open Google Slides and do this. Okay, so there I have it. Congratulations to the entire team. We did that, we did that. Okay, so very cool. Does save up a lot of time. Um, last. Oh yeah, you can also create images by the way. Um, I mean, I, I would definitely not use this to create images, but because DALI and Midjourney do a better option. 
However, it's still something that you can use if you have, uh, if you just want to use a free option. Okay, let's see what else you can do. Brainstorm marketing ideas. Okay, this is very interesting. Create a list of marketing campaign ideas for a new skincare line targeted at Gen Z consumers. Okay, now let's say I'm uh, I'm a marketer and I want to present this particular marketing campaign for my client or uh, for someone for my uh, yeah for people in this area. Um, that's how I could use Gemini. Let's add it here. Let me just. Okay, again, you see the answer is super generic. Uh, however, if your prompt is better, as we've covered in all prompting techniques, it'll give you a better uh, output, right? <laughs> okay, so Gen Z believes in authenticity, so focus on that. Um, utilize experiential marketing, like all of that. Offer value-added content, be socially conscious. Okay, so these are some good ideas. Uh, definitely, you could modify this and use it in your presentation. Let's see what's available here. Okay, so if I was using this for my presentations, I would use it to create like an outline and like a base so that I could add my own information within this. Uh, okay, so that's how I would use it for now because in terms of giving information, it's not as good as ChatGPT, but it, it will do the base work for me so that I don't have to spend a lot of time in like creating those tables or in like, uh, creating these good looking presentations, stuff like that. Okay, so if this was a slide, AI art generation tools like DALI, Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, you can control the output by providing text output, reference images, styles. Um, yeah. So basically, it, it's a cool thing. Uh, I mean, it has just come out last week for use, so it definitely there'll be some errors, but I still am I'm, I'm convinced that this is something that I'm going to use a lot going ahead and my chat GPT depend dependency will be very less, okay?